So, you know, growing up in Philly, obviously, basketball is uh, a major influence on everybody. I uh, started playing in fourth grade, wore number 13, because my dad said, greatest player ever, Will Chamberlain wore 13, from the same town, uh, same section of Philly, Overbrook, as Wilt was from. And, uh, you know, I, I loved it instantly. Now, basketball didn't love me quite as much. I wasn't the best player in the world uh, as a youngster. And when I got to high school, I actually didn't make the high school team as a freshman. <clears throat> and I was a baseball player, football player as well, but I was asked to be the manager of the girls' basketball team. Who'd have thought that, uh, you know, 35 years later, I'd be the head coach in the Big Five. I used to come to all the Big Five games, watch all the great players play uh, on both the men's and the women's side. I coached Archbishop Carroll High School in Philadelphia. I got a break uh, to coach at the University of Vermont for a year, uh, won the uh, America East Championship, went to the NCAA tournament. Then I got to work for a legend, Kathy Rush, and run her camps for five years. Um, during that time, I got married, started a family, and then was able to get back into coaching at the uh, university level at the University of New Hampshire. And I was uh, in New England for 11 years, two at New Hampshire, nine at Quinnipiac, and a lot of success at Quinnipiac, which opened the door to being right here at LaSalle. I was really fortunate that the high school I went to was a national power in girls basketball. And Linus McGinty was the girls basketball coach during my high school years, and I went on to play baseball at Temple. And as my baseball career at Temple was winding down, Linus asked me to come coach with him and I was really excited to have that opportunity. And then he went to our arch rival, Cardinal O'Hara, and left. I was really disappointed because I thought, uh, you know, my chance to coach at the high school level was gone. But then Barry Kirsch, who took over, invited me to join his staff as well. He became one of my best friends and mentors, really taught me everything I know about the game right there and got to coach some incredible players. I, I forgot what the number was, but I think it was like 46 kids went on to play Division I basketball from there. Uh, during my time there and uh, won the Catholic Championship was the first time uh, they had won in a long time and then won a few more and it was a lot, a lot of fun. My first experience uh, coaching in college was at the University of Vermont and I got to coach with Keith Saplicki and it was one of, he did one of the most masterful coaching jobs I'd ever seen. In, in that year that I was there with him, the way he motivated the players, the way he taught them, broke everything down, and the way we, as a staff, it was the first time I, I was a part of an entire staff where there were multiple coaches, the way he handled our ideas and filtered them and then, you know, synthesized them down to the players to get them to execute it, it was just awesome. But it was a restricted earnings position, and so I was making five grand and waiting breakfast uh, in the mornings, and I, and I probably could have done that for a while, but um, getting married to my wife was on the future, and that job wasn't going to cut it, and so that brought me back home again. And a lot of people ask me, like, you know, what did you prefer more, high school or college, and that kind of thing, and the reality was I was working a full-time job and then I was coaching my high school basketball team. And I, you know, I got to see how hard everybody worked in college from the recruiting process. I was on the other side. I also had an AAU team that I was you know, working with at the same time. And as much as we work in college basketball, working a full-time job and then coaching a team like it's a college basketball team, I was like, I think I just want to have one job. And uh, that was really my desire to get in. I liked the high school age and being able to, to mold younger players, but here I get to, to work with young women who are you know, looking for guidance as, and they're gonna go out in the real world and the education piece is gonna be done after we're done with them. So I'm excited to have the opportunity to, to kind of be that mentor and, and help give that guidance. And the chance to break in at New Hampshire, Kristen Cole gave me an opportunity to go up there and you know, I'm forever grateful because uh, it's been nothing but good things since. A player that I recruited out of high school, <clears throat> Cara Cassidy, went to our rival at O'Hara and then beat us for four years, was, uh, went to Quinnipiac, which I had never heard of, out of uh, high school. And I got to know Cara a little bit better you know, while she was in the coaching ranks at Quinnipiac after her playing days. And she just told me that you know, wor working for Trish and being at Quinnipiac was you know, an opportunity that I wouldn't want to miss. And she put in a good word with Trish, and I went down there, and I really didn't have any expectations. But when I got to see that place, I was like, yeah, this is a place I'd want to be. And, you know, Trish is an incredible coach and a great manager of people and, and really gets the most uh, out of uh, the people that work for her. And I 
realized that she put a lot of trust in me right from the beginning and I hope to do that with my staff here and and when you put trust in people a lot of times you get rewarded you know before I got there they had had a, a, a pretty good run of dominance um, they won 20 games a year for the four years before I got there um, they had four guards, three guards graduate though, the year before I got there. So the cupboard was kind of empty with guard play. So, you know, we focused on really bringing in some talented players as a staff. Trish, Trish identified that she wanted to bring in tough kids who had a great work ethic and who loved playing. And we went and did that. And the first, you know, full class that we brought in went on to win, you know, 106 games in four years. And I'm, I'm happy to have two of those young women on my staff right now. You know, I think they're, it, with a great team and with really with any great team there's never just one thing great teams are are built on trust trust between each player and the coaching staff they're built on sweat and hard work but the players believed in what they were being taught and then believed in each other and didn't care who got the credit and that's what I'd like to see happen here at LaSalle is that I want to see players put the team first um, believe in the coaches the coaches are going to trust in them and when nobody cares who gets the credit, it's amazing what can be accomplished. You know, it was an exciting time, uh, just even during the whole interview process. And, you know, I was talking to a few of the people who are now on my staff and, you know, Coach Day was like, you know, you're going to be coaching in the Big Five. And I was like, you, you know what? Yes, I am. And it was something I, I grew up coming to this arena and watching the games here. And to be able to be on the sideline here, and then when I got a chance to meet the young women, to coach this group of young women right away, it's an absolute blessing. Um, I was humbled by the opportunity, I still am, and I'm gonna you know, give back everything. All that trust that Bill has in me, I'm gonna put it right into this university, into this program, and make it the best it can be. You know, immediately I wanna see you know, a, a, a team, a coaching staff, a group of players, a support staff that sacrifice on a daily basis to be the best they can be and that's going to reap rewards in the short term and in the long term in the short term everyone is going to get to realize how good it feels when you give everything you have to a unified cause everybody going in the same direction because ultimately we want to cut down the nets and be in the ncaa tournament and we want to do that on a regular basis and that's the vision that's where we're heading and we plan on doing that the right way and doing it together